morning. It's Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. I'm Larissa. This is my video diary. Time's come. Drink some skulls. Yeah, the time has come to drink some skulls. So, yesterday, I went down to the post office. Then I had... I've had to go to... Three different post offices. In order to get this stuff. We'll see if it's all figured out yet or not. I don't know. But learned that the property manager from in Tempest has recently talked to the post office. <laughs> anyway, met this woman, Rhonda, who started everything off anyway to begin with, and she doesn't she's she claims to not have any memory of talking to me, which okay. I'm sure you talk to lots of people all the time at the post office. Um, but there's just something that tells me that that's not quite the case. But I think she's embarrassed. She did apologize. But it was, you know, I don't remember. I'm sorry. It must have been a miscommunication. I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever. But, you know, she's the one who called me. I didn't call them. She called me after I sent out my initial opening postcard. Right? Sent out my initial opening postcard, and she's the one who calls me on the phone, screaming, You did a mass mailing, and it has the wrong address on it! I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, looking at my camera, the new place, piece of mail arrived yesterday there. I'm not even open yet there, and I have all I, I've been in the space a month, and I have already received more mail at the new space than I ever received at the old space. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> there's this like, saw there's a, there was some se big sex scandal case that was going on in France. I didn't know nothing about it. Some dude was drugging his wife for decades and taking money from men to fuck her. Oh my God. And the headline was saying something. Then there was a second headline I saw that said something about, oh, criticism of France's cultural uh, sexual leniency or something. And it's just like, oh, you mean like kissing cousins bullshit? <laughs> oh my God. I have to say. Uh, French dude I knew was kind of sleazy. Mm hmm. Two of them. Two French guys I've known have been pretty sleazy. One guy had a French accent. I know this other guy was, had a French accent, but he wasn't French. He was German. <laughs> he wasn't sleazy. <laughs> the two French guys I knew, they were both sleazy. <laughs> oh, one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm tired of all the election crap. I'm tired of it all. I have zero faith in gov in our in government. Period. Anymore. Zero faith in government. I don't believe that there is justice. I believe that everything now is tyranny, and I believe that I don't count. So, I mean. I don't believe that I'm worthless. I believe that I am worthless in the eyes of society and of the government and that that's not going to change. 
um, not in my lifetime. So <clears throat> I'm just kind of like resigned to that. Right. So like, I, I don't give a shit about anything in the, about the election in the news, because I don't believe I count anyway. So to any of them, not to the media, you know, not to anybody with money, not to anybody with any kind of power, I don't count. So, um, if I did, then there'd be justice on, for things that have been done to me, at least something. Right. And there isn't, so I don't count. And so I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit because I'm going to be, I'm going to be screwed no matter who wins the election. Right. I'm fucked over no matter what. Right. So whatever. Who cares? And then Sean Combs. They haven't, everybody's been, it's like been common knowledge culturally that he's a sex sleaze for a very, very long time. And I remember in the nineties, you know, hearing stuff about, oh, well, you know, people in the industry, you, you, if you want to be, if you want to be anything in R and B hip hop, soul, you, 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 you know, you gotta, you, you know, you can't mess with, with, with Sean Combs, you know, whatever, who's going by then Puff Daddy, P Diddy, whatever the fuck, Puff Coat, whatever the fuck his name is. Who the fuck cares? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I don't care about any of that shit either. Rich people problems, right? Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. Ugh. So... Yesterday, I also got a lot done on the November issue, and it's looking really good. It's shaping up really nice. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the December issue. I've been thinking about the December issue and what the December issue is going to be. And, <clears throat> you know, the concept behind it. And also just, like, looking back. So I've been doing this magazine now for a year. Yeah. Wow. Pat on my back. Good job, Larissa. Nobody else is going to tell me good job. Good job, Larissa. Good job. Wait, wait, way to go. Putting together a comprehensive, cohesive, thematic, well-read, like people read it. I know they, I know it gets read because I get comments, right? Now, if I can just sell some advertising, that'd be great be great if I could sell some advertising. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be. It would be. It would be. Anyway. So I've been dealing with spasm in my arms since yoga on Monday and I sweat really good on Monday. Um, the first time I took the class, I was by a door. And so like when she would op just open the door and the instructor would open the door to vent, I would get that breeze. This, this time I chose a spot smack in the middle of the, of the room. So not only was I not getting draft breeze, but it's also like the hottest part, part of the room. And, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I only got light headed, headed once towards the end of class and I, I got a real good sweat, real good sweat. Like when I got home and I took out my ponytail, my hair was wet and it wasn't wet when I went in. So I got a real good sweat on and it, and I was, I could smell the, the, um, vanilla smell come off me again. So I don't know what it is that I'm releasing something, something from, you know, something that I've been, that I was given something I was drugged with. One of, one of the substances that was used to, to harm me, right. 
that I'm now releasing and it smells. And, um, I don't know. Um, it's interesting, like, asanas that I used to be able to do without any kind of issue, right? Like, I could just go right into them. Now it's like, okay, well, I can't do it. And I can't do it standing, but I can do it reclining or, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, or reverse. So, so like, you know, doing, um, you can do camel or you can do wheel, right? Like they're the same, nearly the same. Uh, um, asana just in a different or body orientation, right? Very, you know, and so I can do full camel, but I can't press up into wheel and that has to do with upper body strength, but it all, but it also has to do with load bearing and flexibility during load bearing. I used to be able to push it up into wheel with no problem. I wouldn't even try it now, but the, the, um, my arm, you know, the, the loss of mobility and the range of motion from, um, the injury, it's really interesting. And I've had spasm in my back and the muscle, like where, where it tore as well. Um, and I, I feel like there's reconfiguration. I was looking at myself in the mirror and my right arm is shaped different than my left arm. And when I go in for acupuncture, I might ask her to do like a uh, myofascial release on my left arm. Um, cause I've also had some, some spasm in the left side of my back. So Anyway, 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 we'll see. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do hot yoga forever. Um, it's, this is really just an acute treatment right now. And like I said, um, like I said in the past or in, in recent, recent video posts, you know, um, it is possible that doing this, sweating out these, these poisons that were given to me, um, will kill me. Um, I haven't had any, um, uh, par uh, paralysis and I'm grateful for that. Um, but it doesn't mean that it won't happen. When, when I went through the, the detox the first time when I lost weight, um, and was sweating shit out, you know, um, it, it was like in layers. It, it didn't all come out at once and I didn't have like, it, it, it was like, okay, I noticed for a, for a while I had um, side effects like I used to have with one medication that I t that I was I was given, and then after a while, then that would go away, and then I'd have side effects from like another medication kind of thing. And at the time, at the time that that was happening, like I had no idea that that it, it had never occurred to me that that I, I was like, what is going on? I was totally confused. Like, why is this happening? I thought there was like some weird psychosomatic thing going on. And um, then it was, you know, brought to my attention. Now you're, you know, you're, those things are fat soluble. They're stored in your fat. So we'll see, you know. We've only just begun to sweat. Out all those poisons that were given me to try to kill me. Yeah, they tried to kill me. They tried to kill me. Who's they? I don't know who they are. Whoever those guys were up on that fucking roof that time. I don't know. People that lived in that fucking building that drugged me and assaulted me. I don't know. So we'll see. We will see. We will see. Oh, I read an article yesterday. I didn't read the whole thing. I read like two thirds of it. And it said, oh, it was only a matter of time till women died due to abortion bans. So and they're saying that the numbers are probably underreported or unreported. Um, in some, in a lot of instances, because what's happening, 
It's like even in states where they say, oh, there's medical allowance for, you know, if the mother's life is in danger, blah, 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 that hospitals are denying that care because they don't know how to interpret it legally, right? So there, there have, there, there have been a number of actual deaths um, due to refusal of care and a number of near deaths, right? Making women wait until, you know, they are nearly flatlining, right? I think families of every woman who die because she is denied life-saving treatment, you know, preventable death should sue Donald Trump. Yeah. For appointing Comey and Kavanaugh. Coney, what the fuck is her name? Coney dog. Yeah, that's what I think. They should sue the state. They should sue the governors. Yeah. Oh, nobody cares about dead women. Who cares? They'll find some... Anti-choice men will just find some other hole to fuck, right? <laughs> Couple less mouths to feed, right? Good riddance. Good. Women's dead. Mustn't have been... Mustn't have been good stock. We don't want her... We don't want her making... Making calves anyway. Must have been a retarded fucking cow. Good riddance. Yeah. Seriously. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bible beaten morons. This is also why, like... I I am probably going to after this election re-register as party undeclared to vote. I mean I'm registered to vote. I'm registered to vote as a libertarian, but um and like I said like I said, you know, I have read a lot of libertarian philosophy which still resonates with me, but um libertarians I meet are all anti-choice. And I don't understand that given the libertarian philosophy I've read, right? Like, I, 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 it doesn't make sense to me, um, and I don't want to be part of that group. Even if they make comments like, I don't think it should be legislated, blah, blah, blah. Okay, your apathy kills women. So, and someone tell me, oh, well, you know, just people, too many people are having, 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 Having sex, you know, <laughs> gratuitous sex. Oh, okay. Okay. So I just, I don't know. It's kind of turned me off. It's turned me off. The whole Chase Oliver thing, you know, while women are fighting. And dying because of denied reproductive rights and denied health care. Oh, I'm not amused. I'm kind of over it. So I think I think it's better to be party undeclared. And after talking to to Charles Bollet, yeah. He tried to tell me that he totally understood. Got it. You know, I get it. I went to art school for a year. Oh, yeah, you get it. Oh, you get it, I'm sure. Totally turn me off. Totally turn me off. Totally, totally turn me off. So, yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, made made a pasta last night. I had um, 
And then those, those, I had a jar of, of those chopped Calabrian hot peppers and I had a bunch of tomatoes. And I, so I chopped up a shallot and, and threw that chopped up shallot with a bay leaf into some olive oil, really good olive oil in, in my wok. <laughs> Brought up a little bit of caramelization on the shallots, not a whole lot, just a little bit of crispies around the edges. And then I had I diced up the tomatoes and mixed it with the collab those tomato diced up the tomatoes and then mixed the diced tomatoes with the Calabrian pepper and like six cloves of fresh garlic, minced pretty fine, and um, some lemon juice. Just, you know, let them marinate while I was getting those those shallots going. And I threw those tomato, I threw the, the tomato mix in and um, let that simmer, 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 just like that, right? Some black pepper. And then I chopped up an, a, a gigantic bunch of fresh basil and parsley. And um, I finished the sauce, like after I turned it off. Um, well, no, I didn't even put it in yet, that, that yet. So I, I par cooked the spaghetti noodles and then I put the par cooked spaghetti noodles into the sauce because there was a lot of liquid that came off the tomatoes. So I used that liquid to cook the pasta, the noodles, the rest of the way. Um, and then once the noodles were, were cooked all the way through, then I tossed through the fresh the fresh chopped um, basil and, and parsley and then uh, Parmesan cheese. It was very, very good. And then I made a spinach and radicchio salad that had walnuts and green onions and truffle oil and lemon, uh, lemon, uh, truffle oil and lemon dressing. It was good. It was good. The radicchio was a little sharp though. Uh, I, re I mean, chicories usually are, but this particular head of chicory was was kind of sharp. We'll see. I only used half of it for that salad, so when I when I the other half I'll 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 shave and put into a slaw, and it'll probably work better, balanced with some mayonnaise. You know, some mayonnaise and cilantro. Do a salad, All right? I got bake those spaghetti squashes and saute those peppers and mushrooms and peppers and mushrooms with spaghetti squash and um, a radicchio slaw. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And I got some stuff down there for a stir fry too. You know, portion it out, make a stir fry, but there's leftover spaghetti I guess it's not enough for a full dinner, I don't think. I think it's enough for him to have lunch. I think it's like two small portions, two small lunch portions. So, I don't know. I suppose I could just make another salad, make a bigger salad, and have smaller portions of pasta. We'll see. We'll see what he does for lunch. I'm not sure. if I didn't see if he finished, if he finished the um, sardine salad or not. Because he's been eating that for lunch. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. I'm curious to find out what the piece of mail is that I got at the gallery. <gasps> it had a little heft when it smacked down on the floor when the when the mail carrier pushed it through the door and went thwop on the floor. I was like, oh my goodness. What is this? Vas estas. I don't know. I suppose we'll find out today. <laughs>